Hey, good morning everyone, good afternoon. Uh, I am interviewing Mr. John Robinson here in Grand Turk, Turks and Caicos Islands. Good, mo good afternoon, Mr. Robinson. How are you doing today? Oh, I'm fine, Mr. Glenn, Brother Glenn. Okay. All right. You look great. Thank you. Thank you. You look Thank great. You. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, your family and all of that. Well, let me explain to you my family. Mm -hmm. I'm, my mother and father is, is deceased. My father is Richard mm -hmm. Glenn Robinson. My mother is Jennifer Carroll Steamer Robinson. Mm -hmm. She had 14 children. Wow. Nine boys and five girls. Mm -hmm. At the moment, six boys as the as the deceased. Oh, okay. Six, yeah. So it will leave us with eight. There's three boys now uh -huh. and five girls. Okay. We all grew up in the Grand Talk, I would say in the town area which we were born. Mm -hmm. My father has a house and and we used to all always to be in that same house and stuff like that. Yeah. Until we get into age. Mm -hmm. All of us went to public school. It's Nini Lipen was prime. Oh. Nini Lipen. Where was that? Uh, you know, we're down by, by you all. Mizuna Lipen. Down here on North, on Hospital Road? On the Hospital Road. Oh. Right by Miss. Oh, Mizuna's mother. Yeah, Ms. Nini. Nini, Nini. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember her. Yeah, two yeah. two houses away from my house. Two houses away from you. You yeah. had then Grand, uh, with Granite and then you all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Aunt Alice. My Aunt Alice lived next yeah. door to us. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. that was Granite's grandmother. Granite. Yeah, Granite's grandmother. Grandmother, yeah. Alice Clark. Ah, uh, Alice Clark. Yeah, that was my father's sister. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then, then Ms. Ollie. Yeah, Ms. Ollie. Dude, Mr. Dude, mm -hmm. Ms. Ollie. Yeah. Yes, yeah. And them is Nini and them. They, they had a big yard. Big yard. Yeah. Big yard. You know, play out and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So we all went to school to her. That's just the, the young age. Uh-huh. And when you get to seven, nine, we went on to City Parade School. Yeah. Yeah. Back to Selena. Back Selena. <laughs> <laughs> you know, boy. Oh, yeah. That was some time in the life. Boy, yeah. The young boy then. Tom boys beating the Back Selena boys and vice versa. Tom against Back Selena. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So, uh, we went to school there yeah, until we get, until I get the age, uh, we extended whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And then, you had to take uh, your examination to go to Crawford School. To Crawford School. Oh, you, so you went to Crawford School? Yeah, I went to oh. Crawford School late years. Yes. They told me that was for the privileged Perfect. folks back then. Yeah, I to go to Crawford School. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Now, my, let, me, let me back up there a little bit. Uh, Crawford was from Jamaica? I presumed he was a Barbadian. I Barbadian, know. okay. I presume he was a Barbadian, yeah. And he had the only, that was the only high school here then. That was the only high school then yeah. in those years. In those days. And not yes, too many yeah. people got to go there. Not too many people got to go there. You had to do the exam to go there. Mm -hmm. You pass it, the exam to go, you go. Yeah. If you don't pass it, well, too bad for you. Did you know my sister Laura? Laura. Yeah, my brother Perry's sister. Perry's sister. I, my understanding is that she went there too. Yes, 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 yes. She died when she was about 16. By 16, I remember mm -hmm. that. Story. Yeah. Two persons always remember when you were in my younger days. Oh, and Clinton, Clinton, uh, you know, from all back to down there. You, you remember Clinton? Clinton, you know Clinton. What's his last name? You remember his last name? Prophet, uh, Williams, eh? Williams. Clinton Williams? Oh, okay. Yes, really. All right. I don't. I don't recall him that much. Yeah. Now she died way before I was born. Uh -huh. She and her mother died, you know, oh, yeah. of a virus too, of oh, tuberculosis. Right. Oh yes, tuberculosis. Yeah, back in the forties. Yeah. So. Oh. But anyway, go ahead. So, how, how was Crawford School? What was that like? Crawford School was good, but you know, in those days, that uh, the ops. Mm -hmm. You know, very few of the, I would say, of the colored people right. uh, get the chance to get their children there because mm -hmm. of your father and this and you ain't that. Yeah, and stuff yeah, that, like that. yeah. 
Even and you, you have to have money. You have to have money. <laughs> even if you pass, sometimes they won't, won't let you go. Won't let you go. So that was that's how it used to be in that village. Yes. Wow. But anyway, I went to I went to senior school there. Uh huh. And uh, I did well, I would say. But yeah. In those days, all the young boys they ain't was to go to sea sailing. Yeah, sailing. That type of stuff like that. So you didn't go sailing? I can tell you now. Okay. My brother was he? Was he? I know. Yeah. He went to sailing because he passed the school and then he went sailing. Yeah. I wanted to go too, but my father said, "Ah." Oh. Same thing with my father. He said, "You know, you're the only mystic that's not gonna go sailing." That's right. That's he told me, <laughs> yeah. "You're not going to sailing. You yeah. had to take a trade." Uh -huh. I said, "Trade? What kind of trade? I'm a carpenter." Uh huh. So he when I. I came out of school, take me out of school, I said, well, hell, what is this? I come out of school, all them boys go and leave me. Mm -hmm. All them of my friends. So I went to, to trade to Artie Lightroom. Artie Lightroom, oh yes, yeah. To be a carpenter. Right by the parade there over there. By the parade there. Mm -hmm. His son, one of Jimmy Bean and my son, yeah. we was the three young My son. brother, Richard Piggy. Piggy. Piggy, yeah. yeah Piggy, yeah. Piggy, yeah. yeah. Piggy, yeah. Piggy, yeah. Piggy, yeah. yeah. Piggy, yeah. Piggy, yeah. Piggy, yeah. yeah. And he is stricken self and sea. Mm -hmm. And I tell you, you either do or you don't when you get there. <laughs> it sounds like you're back in school again. Yeah. But he, he taught you good. Yeah, he was and actually he came caught. out to be carpenters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He said, well, I've got my trade. Yeah. Now I must see if I can make some money. But you can't get no money. Mm -hmm. No way to get this money. No way to make the money. No way to make this money. Yeah. That's not the thing. Yeah. You got the trade, you can't even can't make, make money. money. Yeah. Anyway, years going by on this trade, mm -hmm. came to build the uh, Pan American bases and things like that. Oh, yes. So that's when my first job as a carpenter. So that's around what, the late 40s or? The late 40s. Late 40s, that's 40s right. yeah. Mm -hmm. So I said, well, boy, I said I had to do the carpenters to go up there and work. Mm -hmm. And it was good. It worked here. Yeah. Yeah. And they had a lot of Jamaicans and all of that, and they were oh. paying us seven pounds and ten shillings a week for carpenters. Oh. We did well. That's Save pretty good money. back then. Pretty back then. Good <laughs> yeah. money and saving and stuff like that. And yeah. I really enjoyed myself. Mm -hmm. But after the close down, nothing. Couldn't mm. make nothing. Everything going back to normal and all that type of stuff. So, yeah. But I was a young man then, and. Uh, my father was a carpenter. Mm -hmm. He was a lighthouse keeper. Yeah. I said, well, I'd go back and forth to the lighthouse and get the wood and for part to cook and all that type of thing mm -hmm. like that. So that was how it was in those days. That was before they had the naval base down at the lighthouse, right? Before they had the naval base, there was no yeah. naval base there. Yeah. No. The naval base came in after you get Pan Am base, the naval base came mm -hmm. in. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, it was down there. Uh, that's what you have all those picnics and yeah. stuff like that. Picnic parties. How did you think how did you they got picnics down at the island? Yeah. So that used to be a lot of fun and a lot right of Right down that. is it down by the creek down there? That down by the little bluff? I mean the die house? Yeah, I mean I mean did you have the picnics? Oh no, you had the picnics head on the die house ground. Oh, on the lighthouse grounds, okay. Yeah, but I mean they had picnic other places. Oh, like, yeah, overlooking the uh, the ocean, the Atlantic the Ocean Atlantic out there. The ocean on the northern side. Yeah, right, yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. But then I mean, come to think of now, there's a lot of improvement down that side because yeah. uh, you go down bluff, you could have walked down bluff and then walk come that road, but Pick, now yeah. you can't do that now. Cut it off, yeah. You get lost now because they got a channel there. Yeah. Supposed to come into North into Creek. North Creek. Yeah. You can see have to see that town. Yeah. Yeah, you go down bluff and mm -hmm. change your own. Yeah. So that's what happened in those days, you know, Yeah. You was young and stuff like that and you, everything changed around now. Yeah, so you you didn't go sailing. I I, I feel like I'm in good company here because I, <laughs> <laughs> everybody say you're a mystic and you didn't go sailing. Every time I try to go, the old man stop me. Uh -uh. Boy, the same thing with me. <laughs> yeah. I tried, tried, tried. All them boats yeah. coming here. Uh-uh. Yeah. You gonna have to stay here. Orsi, your brother Orsi, uh, and, and my sympathy to you. He just passed too. 
Yes. I was yes. supposed to do him, but he he used to say the Vera Jeep. Was it the Vera yeah, Jeep? Yeah, was... we Vera Jeep. He was the second mate on that book. Yeah. Yeah, he yeah. did well through life and shit. He and Butterfield and all of that. Butterfield yeah. and all of them. Right. They make themselves man from them books. That's right. That's oh, right. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, coming back after sailing and stuff like that, I now went sailing and I didn't regret it. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> so I decided now, I said, well, I gotta make up my mind because after a while, I couldn't do nothing but the right carpentry and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Town girls making a few little paintings and stuff, and I'm going to be a young man mm -hmm. and all that stuff. So I said, government had a vacancy. Mm -hmm. So I said, Lord, I can apply for this vacancy. Yeah. So I applied for this vacancy and I walked with government. Mm -hmm. But then I would better say about my scouting years in them younger days before I go to government. Yeah. That's because in my younger days, as you know, you had to be a boy scout also. That's right. So we were boy scouts and stuff. That was night. it? Well, wait a minute now. They, it wasn't. It wasn't called boy scouts. Huh? It wasn't boy scouts. I'm your student teaching you now. Yeah. What do they call them? Sea Scouts. Sea Scouts. Ah, I <laughs> got you there. <laughs> yeah, you, you were my Sea Scout yeah. master. master. <laughs> yeah, Sea Scouts. Sea we had the Navy caps. Yeah. That's right, the sea Navy Scout cap, brown no, caps. Well, that's a black one. So around to tell you, look so good to tell you. I look at some of them old pictures and say, Lord, say, this looks so nice. Don't you <laughs> Can't believe it. Yeah. That's what happened. Hmm. But yeah, it's so. So, about what year did you become a sea scout? Huh? What about what? How, what year did you become a sea scout? Oh, I, I became a sea scout. I think was about eleven, twelve, and okay. they yeah, about around. twelve or eleven. Yeah, around the same time. I yeah, I, I was I was about eleven, twelve too. Eleven, twelve, yeah. Yeah, but mm -hmm. well, you you were my senior. You you. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was a brother. <coughs> yeah. But because uh, Charlie Bean was then the commissioner of scouts for us. Oh, okay. Yes, and uh, we used to parade to us uh, every first Sunday in the month. That's right. You remember? Yeah, oh yeah. Every yeah. first Sunday month you go to your church. Yep, you go to yeah. visit the church with yeah, the, the, the uniform. Ah, oh, man, I wish I had a picture of the uniform. Maybe I could take some pictures of it. But uh, yeah, I know you had a white round, round cap. Right? Was it a round cap yeah, like a sailor, right? A sailor cap. Sailor. Yeah, sailor, sailor cap. Caps with with, with yeah. the sea scouts written by the Right, them. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we saluted with three fingers? Three fingers. Three fingers, that's yeah. right. Yeah. I remember that. <laughs> I forgot to salute the sign. Yeah, American salute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So what was it like in terms of the sea scout? What, what did they, what did you get out of that? Well, yeah, I man. get a lot of that sea scout stuff. I tell you, that's true. Yeah. Because we had the boys that learned how to swim. Mm -hmm. Some boys will do. We did Grand Talk, as you know, all of us could have swum from Ali. You better swim. You better swim. <laughs> of course, you get drowned. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> because you know who was least fit for them, Louis. Yeah. Well, it's terrible in them days for them people, eh? Let yeah. Tell you. You get in the CD and you make a noise, you blow a whistle. Mm -hmm. You better get just can out the day before that police <laughs> officer come for you. That's right. So it's something then. Yeah. But anyway, that's <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's how it was. Anyhow, we had the sea scouts. Mm -hmm. And sea scouts, your training and stuff like that, and used to have jamborees. Yeah. Different places. Jamarees, I love those. Yeah. <laughs> Which one do you mean? I, I went to one time with you guys to uh, right up here on the ridge. Yeah, yeah, we're on the ridge. Yeah. Right? That's the training. I, we carry you up there for your training. Yeah, for training. I remember when the Navy sent us some uh, some iguana and they said it was chicken. <laughs> <laughs> that was something. That yeah, was something. <laughs> But the best one I remember was going uh, on the Alice to South Caicos. Uh -huh. You remember that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. On, yeah. on that sailboat? Sailboat, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was really good. Where, where, where else did you go for the Jamborees? Oh, I, Jamborees, I've been to about three or four. Okay. And we have a first Jamboree I went to was in 61. 
Okay. And Trinidad, the well seen park. Mm -hmm. That was so dusty. Yeah. Yeah, but we oh. enjoyed ourselves. Yeah. Yeah, I think we had about ten boys with us. You know, you used to, used to go through, uh, through the Pan American base to go down. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, the Pan American plane. Yeah. Yeah, because the base is already in there. That's right. Yeah, and go down to Trinidad and stuff. Yeah. Like that. And that was good. That's when I've been in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. I've been in Jamaica, and Montpellier, and Montego Bay. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. and I've been to Barbados. Okay. So I've been to about three, three of them, or four of them. Yeah. Oh. Because they only have been maybe two years in anyway. Okay, yeah. But it was very enjoyable as a young man. And that was really making you into a young man and teaching you skills. Skills, that's true. I told people I learned how to cook in, in, the, in the Scouts. Yeah. Even though I had a lot of women in my house, I, you know, I learned how to cook. The same thing. Yeah. You, know, you must learn how to cook because you can't eat it. Yeah, you that's right. You can't eat it. it. <laughs> you can't try to eat it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Cook and you eat it. Uh -huh. Oh, yes. So back to your uh, growing up. Um, when you couldn't get work as a carpenter, what, what oh. did you do? Uh -huh. the, and I said, so I went to join the civil service. Okay. So I joined the civil service as a clerk in the post office selling stamps. Uh -huh. And I walked my way through that whole place. Yeah. I was selling, then I went and walked into the savings bank. Mm -hmm. And then I went into the treasury. Okay. You as a treasury clerk checking vouchers and things like that. Mm -hmm. And after the cashier, she reckoned she was Miss Mary Jones. She retired what I would do. Oh, uh, Karen Clifford Jones' wife? Yeah, Clifford Jones' wife. You yeah. Remember yeah. Her? yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Big lady, yeah. Yeah. She was to some family to you. She's my cousin, yeah. yeah She's my cousin on the Williams side, yeah. Your, your father is in, in, in Ma Williams. She, Ma Brothers and sisters. Uh, no, uh, Panette. Panette. Panette and Ma Williams yeah, were first Panette cousins. Yeah. Sisters, yeah, 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 yeah. From Larmus. Yeah, from yeah. Larmus. Yeah. Yeah, that's the truth, man. Yeah. As I, was, I know it's where really, I get mixed up there. Anyway. Oh, yeah. But anyway, I was a cashier, mm -hmm. and then Charlie Beans, the thing started to go up. Charlie, when who was in customs then, he went to be assistant treasurer. See, he told me. To uh, to a box for the job as officer, senior customer officer to work in the in the customs. So he was helping you out. He was helping me out. Yeah. His family, you know. Yeah, that's two, right. Uh, that's sister. right. You guys were. Yes. His mother was his mother or your father's sister? Yeah, his Ms. mother. Miss Anna Bean. Miss Anna Bean. Yeah. And, you know, we had sisters and we had my two aunties and yeah. stuff. Helena? Teachers. Helena was teacher and Alicia was teacher. Yeah, Helena yeah. was the high school and Grand Turk is named after. I uh, high school yeah. named after. And mm -hmm. then they have another, another sister was Mary Robinson. Mary Robinson, that's right. Yeah, Salt Key. Salt Key, yeah. Mm -hmm. The high school now it is named after, yeah, I think. Not high school, the, oh, the public school. The public school, okay. Yeah. But anyway, uh, coming back to the custom part of it, mm -hmm. so I took the job as work in the customs department. Okay. And that's where I've been for the years and years in government. Oh, okay. So I went to the costume department and I said, well, I have to make myself at home here. Yeah. And I walked myself up until they said, well, you got to go uh, to Trinidad mm -hmm. for a course to in costumes. I said, oh, yes. So in the year 1969, I, I went to Trinidad mm -hmm. and uh, to customs house and stuff like that. And you know, in Trinidad, the young man, you get so crazy seeing all these different ladies and all that stuff. Yeah. So my brother wrote me a letter also. He said, you down there playing the down, so you better pass your exam before you come <laughs> back home. I said, Lord, I'm awesome. You had all those half Indian girls yeah, down there. half Indian girls, I'll tell you. <laughs> So I went, my good buddy Joe, to the Lord from Barbados, me and him used to always be together. I said, Joe, look here, man, read this. What did my brother write? Uh -huh. He said, so, Robbie, man, I'm sorry for you. He said, but you can have to buckle down. You can't be going out. Yeah. So we buckled down and 
starting to get too well. And mm -hmm. I did pass my exam and everything like that. That's wonderful. Straight. Wonderful. Yeah. And I come home mm -hmm. and uh, face making now for the collector. Yeah. I said, well, Lord, I wonder who can get this. Because I said, it's only me and Adams. And Adams is that lo Lovey Adams? Yeah. Yeah. Adams was at the warehouse and I was in the office, so I was okay. wondering what was going to happen. But Adams was so aged. Oh. And it's time to say, well, we'll give it to me. Okay. I said, what? He said, well, you got to go back out again. Mm -hmm. So I had to go to England. Oh, man. I said, well, I, I was in Trinidad all that, that six months down in there. Wow. I said, well, I got to go to England for three months. Right. Cold I, country. <laughs> I come home. Next year, I go to England. <laughs> three months up there. Well, that's what's international because you meet Trinidad. And you meet all the different, I said, countries. Yeah. Botswana. Uh, Mm -hmm. All the African, Africans yeah. and stuff like that, and Chinese. Mm -hmm. And we were out there for much to be. I was uh, in England, South End on Sea. Mm -hmm. The longest pier in the world was in the South End on Sea. Okay. And man, it was great. Mm -hmm. Although not the fun like you would have when it's in Trinidad. Yeah. But otherwise, and that, it was learning. And keeping yourself together and all that kind of keep getting you fit for the man mm -hmm. of the job. Right. And that's what they did. They, they did that. Great. That's great. And it was very, very good. Yeah. And I appreciate my time on this anyway. Uh -huh. I, I didn't have my very few people I knew. Yeah. But yes, so I had all my friends that were crossing to me. Mm -hmm. all get home well. Yeah. We came back home and. When I come back home, they say, well, now that you got the training and both these islands, you have to go to Montserrat to see how the government works. What? I say, what is this? <laughs> now, all I wanted to say, yeah, travel. So the guy said, what are you going to Montserrat for? Yeah. Because the same fella in Montserrat, we was, he was in England. Yeah. I said, well, what are you going to teach me? He can't teach me nothing. Mm -hmm. I said, this is another thing, uh, just a, 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 a vacation to me. I said, all right, I'll go to Montserrat. Yeah. I spent two months in Montserrat, and I came back home. I said, well, it was nice. Wow. And Montserrat, was, we have, uh, they say, what kind of stuff? Yeah, they had a volcano there back yeah, in no, the 90s, have, uh, I think. No, no, they have it in the different Yeah. Uh, so but didn't they have a volcano in Montserrat yeah, in the 1990s, I think? Yeah, they had one there, too. Yeah, close. Yeah. God took me up there, man, the thing was smoking. I said, well, let me get from up here. It's too much heat. <laughs> yeah. I said, oh, this thing may drop out any time. Yeah. It was very nice, and I enjoyed myself in Montserrat. Mm -hmm. I had, I mean, it was very down to off because I was teaching other people, when I should have been home, teaching. Yeah. And teaching and learning at the same time, who? Yeah. But it was great. Which I appreciate you very much, your government. That's good. And then, and uh, it was nice. So you came back here and I you, you here landed the job. And I was the collector of costumes and stuff to take this out. Wow, that's great. Great. Yeah. And I'll be in that until I retire. Okay. But so the Robinsons came from where? Um, you, you guys are sulky people, or? Well, I know Bermuda, I think. I believe I say from Bermuda, but yeah. most of the other people come from it. Okay. The Turks Islanders. Turks Islanders, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. And um, so, who? How far can you trace your 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 fa your father's family back? Um, you know, I never tried to go and trace this back. Yeah. yeah. Because. Uh, he had a lot of brothers and stuff like that. Oh, Johnny, I remember Johnny Robinson. Yeah, Uncle Johnny Robinson. Yeah. He had one who used to live in New York too. Oh. But he died, yeah. Okay. He died right in New York. He never married or nothing like that. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, and then we have my Aunt Misha. She used to live in the Malcolms, the Malcolms, you know? Yeah, oh, the Malcolms too. Oh, yeah. okay. So you. So now, how did Helena and all of them, did they come from Sulky or? 
Well, I presume they must have come from Salty. Or they even just went over there to teach. Uh, uh, my aunt Mamie. Your Mamie, Mamie yeah. Robinson, yeah. She she stays over there. Okay. Then we were, we were younger boys used to go over there when school got holidays mm -hmm. to be with her. Yeah. Yeah. She stayed over there. Oh, okay. Yeah. So basically, then you all were from Grand Turk. We were from Grand Turk. Okay. But I uh, used to go to Salty for school holidays. Family, yeah. We have. Uh, my mother's uh, sister, uh -huh. Helen, who was married to Eugenics, you know, okay. who was the district commissioner. All right. That was my mother's sister. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you could stay either to Aunt Helen or to Aunt Mamie. Aunt Mamie was my father's sister. Okay. Salkey. So your, mo your mother's family was from Salt Key too? No, my mother's. South Key, right? Was from South Key. East Harbor. East Harbor. <laughs> East Harbor. <laughs> Isabel, yeah. yeah. Seymour's, right? Seymour. Your mother was a Seymour? Seymour, yes. Yeah. Seymour. Seymour, yeah. 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 Wow. Robert Seymour, Hilton Seymour. Hilton Seymour, I remember him. And you remember him? Yeah. Yeah. Does he live right up here, up the street here? Who? Was it, was it, wasn't, didn't she yeah. have a brother He used to live here. near, near uh, right across from his Emma Durham? Right across from? From his Emma Durham? Uh, what, what Seymour was that? Donald Seymour. Donald. Yeah, yeah, Donald. Yeah. Yeah, that's her brother. Okay. Well, he I mean, I, he died a long time ago. Yeah, Donald and Sam, you remember Sam? Sam, yeah, Sam, Sam Stool, yeah. Sam Stool. Yeah. That's my mother's brother. Yeah. Sam always tell us he was a mystic, so he was Pondad's son. <laughs> you know, he was captain of dad's boat, the yeah, endeavor. Captain Endeavor. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh -huh. But uh, old stool, yeah, stool. yeah, yeah, stool. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh uh, yeah. So the Seamers then are from South Caicos then. The Seamers from South Caicos. South Caicos, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Mm. And uh, so you worked in the government. How many years? I worked there for I think what thirty three years. Thirty three years. Okay. Yeah. And I retired. Retired. As well as fifty five. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, you got I had, I was got married, and then I had uh, four children. So tell us about your getting married. How I, I think I remember when you got married. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this, be this beautiful South Caicos girl. Yeah, I think the South Caicos girl <laughs> yeah. got married. Now, let me tell you about that last time because I decided to get married. So I was looking for a house. To stay, you know. Yeah. So I said, well, you know something. I look up the, the house. My grandfather has recorded the house. Yeah. Up, uh, right name. Anyway, my grandfather's house. Okay. You know what it is? Where is that? It's called the up to up to the house. It's called that. Uh, there by the church rectory then. But you know, church right here in those days to be right up. St. Mary's Church? No, not St. Mary's Church right here. You know where the rectory used to be then? Oh, the Methodist Church? No, the no. Anglican rectory. Anglican rectory. Stafford, the, oh! Uh, by, by, yeah. by north, south of the dentist. Oh, I thought it was at the, I thought it was near the jail, the, uh, the library. Yes, that's no. I talk about the very, very. Oh, you talking old, about way back before way I was back born? Before, yeah, way back before. before you was born. Yeah, I was born in 1950. Oh, 1950. So, yeah, you may not. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's the first record to be up there. Yeah. But you know where is Bobby Fulford's house is? Right. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm going Doc Aswit and and uh, Arthur Hawkins and all of them too. Yeah. yeah. So the road with Mitchell. Yeah. Mitchell Lily. Yeah. Mitchell House. Okay. And then they have a house. Pop Mitchell? Yeah. No, not Pop Mitchell. Not Pop, yeah. Pop Mitchell House up south. Oh, okay. But it's Mitchell. Uh, it's, 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 a, it's an elderly man who used to stay right next to us. Okay. My father's house and then Mitchell. Yeah. Because we used to pass through his yard and go to, to Swallow Lisa and then we had to All Right, yeah. Lois Arisa, yeah. Lois Arisa. But uh, coming back, anyway, 
I was talking about when they get married. Yeah. So I asked my uncle John if I could stay up in the house up there. He said, um, <laughs> so you how? So you getting married? So you better go. You got a billy out there. <laughs> Hey, so you better go look somewhere for your woman. Yeah. I said, Lord, my brother, and then still there. Yes, but no more. So uh -huh. you go and look. You think yourself a man? Yeah. You got yourself a woman? So look yourself a house. I said, No, what do you mean? See my uncle tell me that. <laughs> so I had to go and rent a house to get married. Yeah. I rent a house. North of Alpha, you know, Alpha Adams, and then Dan Adams. Yes, yes, yes. I ran that before I got married. Uh -huh. Okay. I said, well, that is something. Uh -huh. So I get married to Lee, that is Bobby Fulford's sister. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Bobby Fulford, yes, yes. Violet Styles. Violet Styles. And, and Iris. And Iris, yes. Yeah. And she was walking, and I was walking. She was walking, and, and uh, they called it the administrator's office then. Oh, okay. The nurse's office upstairs, is typist or whatever it is. So Iris was the nurse. Iris was the yeah. nurse, yes. And your wife was Leela. Leela. Leela Fulford. Yeah. Leela Fulford, yeah. yeah. And I used to walk in custom downstairs and stuff like that. Yeah. So we get married and we had four children. Four children. What are their names? Irvin. No, Irvin. Irvin is Owen. the eldest? Eldest, yes. Irvin okay. and Alan. Alan. And then Judith, you must know. Judith, Judith. oh yeah, and Judy. Yeah, and, and Judy. And Lisa. And Lisa, right. Yeah. So now, in, in that in that order, Irving, Irvin was a pilot, is a pilot too. Irvin is a pilot. I carry him to the stage. That's what caused me. I carry him to the stage. I used to go to the stage regular. So I took him to school to American Linus and show him how to shop and things like that. Yeah. So he was a pilot. Okay. My son Alan, uh -huh. he went to school in Antigua. Oh, okay. Yes, and uh, we had deposits and stuff like that. But he went to school in Antigua. Uh -huh. My son, my, my daughter, Judith, Judith okay. from high school here, she went to school in Jamaica to the Adventist, they had this uh, uh, university down in yeah. Jamaica. Yeah. And my daughter, Lisa, after her high school, mm -hmm. she went to school in Canada. Oh, okay. So all of them had a good education. Yeah, and yeah. So they all, yeah, they education. all done well. Yeah. They did well. Yeah. Oh, yes, they did very well. <coughs> in fact, you have, yeah, yeah, uh, Irvin is married to a preacher. Yeah, I wouldn't get married yeah. to a preacher. A South Caicos girl. Was she South Caicos? Was she born here? South, South yeah. Claire. Was yeah. She, yeah, was she born here or she was born? No, her mother's from South Caicos, Iris, right? Uh, she born here. In Grand she born here in Grand Turk, okay. Mm -hmm. But now he's, uh, what is, is he manager of the airport or? Who? Irvin. Irvin walks here now in charge of the airport here in Grand Turk. In Grand Turk, okay. He put a man hat on the shoulder, he changed it a lot. Yeah. Married preacher, a great preacher. Oh, yeah. Claire can preach. Yeah, she can preach. <laughs> She's a Methodist minister. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah. Now, you uh, just sort of segue into this. You you guys grew up Anglican, right? You grew up Anglican. Yes, Anglican. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, what was that like back then? Like, because my mother was Anglican, but when she married my father, you know, she had to become Baptist. Yeah, you but, married, uh, <laughs> uh, you married was a school teacher. Uh, some school teacher, right? In yeah, yeah, my mother, yeah, Helene, 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 Helene yeah, 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 yeah. I remember we were, she sang, she, she did everything, did everything. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. She, she was something up. Yeah, yeah. Well, I get confirmed when we were all young and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But my mother said, "See that three things: you go to service in the morning, mm -hmm. you go eleven o'clock over to St. Thomas, at three o'clock got to go to Sunday school." Right. right. So you, that's what you were At St. Mary's. And sent down in... Oh, no, Sunday school, you had your own Sunday school building. Sunday school building. Right, right near St. Mary's. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. right next to St. Mary's. Right. So the same, yeah. Yeah. So the Ang what was it like growing up in the Anglican church? Oh, growing up, it was, it was good. You had, you had uh, things to occupy the young people. Mm -hmm. yes. yeah. You had things to occupy the young people when you were growing up. Now your parties weren't as good as the Baptist parties, but 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 I used to come to the Anglican parties too. <laughs> the, the Baptist party, 
<laughs> Foster Walker. It was, it was, yep. That's on the August money. On the August money. She might, might be jumping. Boy, yeah. I tell you, that should be something there. Oh, yeah. Man, oh, mercy. Oh, boy. I can remember that. that Emancipation, Emancipation Day for people who don't day. know, yeah. yeah. Yes, you, you, you really had some good time on that day. Oh, yeah. Was and it Nat Salva's band? Nat Salva's band. Yeah. And the nighttime you go on the Mets. Yeah. Yep. Love yeah. on the Mets. Baptist Pack. Mets. Pack with people. Pack. Pack. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was yeah. there some time, eh? And that was a big mansion yeah. up there, too. I tell you, it's a yeah. big mansion up yeah. there. Yeah. Right. Well, as, as we wrap this up, uh, what are some of your thoughts on the uh, future of the Turks and Caicos? Where, where do you see us going? Well, at the moment, how things since our last government, that is the power, they, they have taken over 14. To one. To one, wow. Yeah, that was great. Yeah. And they seem to be doing very well so far. And I think their aim is to see if they can get the Turks and Caicos Islands to be out of South Government. To be, mm -hmm. That's look like what they're trying to How far down the road do you see that independence? Well, I would see about the next, I would say, next four to five years. Mm -hmm. We should be independent. Oh, that fast. Wow. Well. You know, when the late J.C. McCartney mm -hmm. gave a speech some time back before he died, he said he, he wanted these islands to be co independent from the Amiens. Oh. But it couldn't happen then. <laughs> that would have been, we would have been, been in trouble been there. Trouble there. Yeah. Now, you see the progress which is ahead of us. Mm -hmm. I think that. This government now in power right. has realized that they have to get all the acts and everything together, and this is mm -hmm. what they're trying to do. And they're doing so far for the last 50 years since they've been in power. They have done very, very well. Mm -hmm. And the Honorable the, Washington Missick. And the, and, yeah. the Premier of yeah. Washington Missick. Yeah. Yes. And, uh, he, has, he has a heck of a lot of experience. A lot of experience. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But I yeah. think he's going to lead this, these islands mm -hmm. into prosperity. Yeah. I have a great feeling that he's going to do that. Yeah. Although, as you say, we had the wires, and the first thing he do was to give everybody a thousand dollars. That that sure help, right? Help. Sure <laughs> yeah. Help. And then he say you must be. Get your vaccine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The bus. Yeah. yeah. There's a must. That's right. They got up to August now. Oh, okay. To get, you know, they imported the, and before time, you everybody was like, they don't want it, they don't want it, and boys, up there now, you go there, everybody rushing in together. Yes. Yeah. And if you don't get your work, if you want your work permit, you have to get it. You have to get it. That's it's good. So they, 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 they're trying to get all of that. And that's, that by next year, July, yeah. the tourists the, 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 should be uh, clear. The, 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 the port open. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Oh, so, so the ships will be coming in. Okay. This year, July. This year, July. 20, 2021. 20, yeah. 21, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Anyway, anything else you'd like to say to your folks uh, or to folks who know you and all that? Well, I would like to say to you, uh, man, that it's so glad that you come and give me this chat. I would say for life, mm -hmm. I feel so happy to be here yeah. with Teddy with you. Yeah. I seldom get this. I yeah. sit down here day to day, as you know, yeah. I've been sick yeah. for the last weeks. I, I, have, I suffer from prostrate and cancer, uh -huh. uh, a kidney problem. Yeah. And I have to uh, go to the Almost like your brother Aussie that just passed. Right? Yes, yeah, they, I yeah, have to go so to the doctor. Uh -huh. and twice I've been into the hospital. Wow. Yes. Then they put it in right and I've been in the last time was worse. I felt I was going to cross, but the good Lord spares my good life. Lord, Lord. Intervene yeah, for you. Intervene me. My yeah. life, I say, well, my life will be spared for much longer now. Uh -huh. But the Lord is with me, and I it's great. praise Him, praise Him, praise Him. 
Praise Him. That's right. We, we, we're so happy. How old are you now? This is 2021. I have, I have just been 86 years old. 86 April young. Wow. 86 years old. Yeah. That's, I, I got a little ways to go on you. You got 16 years on me. 16 years yeah. on me. Yeah. Well, I've reached my time, 86. I know. Yeah. I go, keep, on, keep me to keep going, going, yeah. going. I will keep on going, keep going, on going. going. Yeah. The Lord say you have to go to the above. I'll go and join my saints above. There you go. We, we all we always know we got a home to go to. Got a home to go to. Yeah, I tell somebody that this is life, and the only way out is. Death. It's death. <laughs> you know? That's all it is. That's but we got but, but we got a promise from the Lord that we have a new house not built with hands, eternal in the heavens, and you know we'll see. So I want to you know just uh, extend the the blessings to you and uh, the, you know thank you again for agreeing to to do this interview. Of course. And of I course. thank the good Lord for opening it up in the middle middle of this COVID situation oh, yes. that uh, we're able to sit here with you. So may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord cause His face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up the light of His countenance upon you and give you His peace now and forevermore. Amen. 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 Thank you.